Hey guys, and welcome to PremandPrep.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Parker 92R safety razor. It's a butterfly open safety razor with a black handle. Um, let's get started with it. So it's labeled as heavyweight uh, safety razor by Parker and on Amazon. And they, they say that it weighs 3.4 ounces on the Amazon page. So I was kind of surprised when it came in. And I weighed it on my scale, and it came in at 3.1. Um, and it doesn't really feel like 3.4. That's the first thing that I noticed about it. Um, it does have a, just like all butterfly open, most butterfly open safety razors, it's kind of head heavy just because the mechanism in the head and the additional metal add a little bit of extra weight. So the balance point on this guy is right above where the uh, black handle, textured part of the handle meets the chrome metal right here. Uh, as, as you can see, it's, it's actually right here, which is kind of a weird balance point. Not to say that's that bad um, for how high up on the handle it is. I kind of like it about three quarters of an inch below the headpiece for being able to maneuver. So in terms of that distance, it's fine. It's just the placement of where this black textured handle meets the chrome piece. It's, that's where the balance point is right there because I usually do my grip, either a two finger grip here or a three finger grip. And when maneuvering it, I'm kind of halfway on the handle and halfway on this chrome piece, which um, is not optimal for me. I wish this metal, this um, black handle went up to about there and I think it'd be fine. I'd, I'd enjoy that a lot more and be a lot smoother when transitioning from one hand position to another. Um, but overall, the balance point's fine, um, and maneuvering it is not that bad. Uh, that's my one thing that bugs me about the safety razor and the balance. Uh, let's talk about the the grip. And that's where this piece really stands out because this black textured handle provides really good grip overall, um, especially if you're shaving down here. Some people like shaving at the end. I can't imagine it slipping out if you're holding it up here. Uh, but obviously for me, since I hold it up here, I'm holding it on the chrome and that's a lot slipperier. So I end up slipping down to the handle, which is kind of a pain. It kind of bugs me. Uh, that's but this handle, if this handle went up higher, I'd rate the grip perfectly. But since it doesn't go high enough for me, um, and I end up holding it up here, that's definitely, I'd take points off for that. Um, it is one of the longest safety razors that I own, measuring at 4.25 inches from the head to the toe, uh, which is definitely long, and since I have large hands, it's definitely helpful for me, especially if I'm going to do a grip where I have the end of the handle resting on my pinky. Um, the extra length really comes in handy, but I do see how this 4.25 inches could be a pain for somebody with short hands trying to maneuver it from one position to another. Um, something you might want to consider depending on how large your hands are. Let's talk about the construction of the headpiece. Um, just like all their Pretty much their other butterfly open safety razors, the head is very similar to those. Let me try to focus on it. And yes, pretty solidly constructed. The one thing I do kind of, I don't like is that my handle, and this might just be my particular safety razor I got, it has kind of a hiccup when opening and closing the headpiece. Um, which is kind of a pain. But once the blade is in there and closed all the way, it has no problem locking it into place. The blade is even on both sides and it's not it's pretty difficult to get loose. And I I feel like if you maintained it it would last a good amount of time. I've had it for a few months now. Let me put a blade in real fast to show you. And obviously, blade replacement on these guys is extremely easy. The easiest out of all the different types of safety racers.
Yeah, so I'm not sure if you guys can see that blade in there. But there's a decent blade gap. Um, and that's why I, I rated about a 6 out of 10 on my aggressiveness scale. Uh, Parker has been working hard to try to make their safety razors a little bit less aggressive while still maintaining an extremely close shave that, that they're known for with their more aggressive razors. But this one is definitely a 6 out of 10. It's pretty sharp. Uh, you know, if you're just starting out, first of all, I wouldn't recommend something so aggressive for somebody just starting out. But if you get it, I would maybe try to start off with something, a blade that's not as sharp as a feather that I have in here right now. But yeah, it does create a, a very close shave. Um, overall, I, I do... I do enjoy shaving with it. Um, obviously, there's things that I don't, some things that I don't like about it, including the balance and the design is not, you know, my favorite. I like all chrome safety razors. I think it looks really nice. The black handle probably has a tendency of getting dirty. I haven't had it that long to find out, but we will see. And this piece up here is not the best design in my in my opinion. But overall, yeah, the headpiece is, is designed well. The mechanism should last. If you take good care of it, it should last a, a good amount of time, just like the other Parkers out there. Um, so, yeah, this is my Parker 92R review. I hope you guys got something valuable out of it. Uh, head over to Prim and Prep to see the full, the full article uh, and review. There's probably more information on there. Also, there's more safety razor reviews and other male grooming tips on that website, so I definitely... Head over there and check it out and subscribe to my YouTube channel if this is something that you guys like to see. Uh, hopefully you guys have a good day. Thanks. Bye.